Hey, I asked this similar question to some of the defensive guys yesterday just about playing in a relatively empty stadium when you don't have a lot of crowd noise. How does that impact kind of the offensive line, defensive line dynamic? Have they been able to jump the snap a little more? Do you guys get them with hard counts? How does that kind of go? Uh, I mean, we haven't really uh, experiment, experimented too much with the hard count, but I think the main thing that helps us is we're able to communicate a lot easier. There's not as much noise. So when Ben makes his calls, and why I communicate with the other guys, everyone's really on the same page now. So we don't really have as many issues with the crowd noise right now. You'll go ahead. Hey, Nick, I was wondering uh, how much further you feel like the offense and the offensive line is along as compared to when we talked to you much earlier in, in the preseason. Uh, definitely. I think we've made a lot of improvements, and a lot of strides. You know, I think now we're kind of getting to a point, too, where we're now starting to really come together as one and kind of get the idea of, you know, here's who's going to play this week. So I think, you know, just a lot of communication things have really have really picked up, too, which has been really good for us. We were told you'd clarify the quarterback situation completely for us today. Is that right? Uh, I do not know. Yeah, the quarterback <laughs> situation either. Yeah. Uh -uh. Is it is it uh, is it difficult at all for an offense if you have multiple quarterbacks? I mean, two guys getting snaps and that kind of thing. I know you guys had experience with it last year, but is that is that more difficult than just one guy getting the lion's share? Uh, not really. I mean, obviously they are two different styles. You know, John Rice is more of your rear runner, and Matt's more of your thrower. But I think we're in a really good situation. I mean, we're pretty fortunate to have two very good quarterbacks. Two quarterbacks who have seen SEC football and done really well with it. So, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it's a really good problem to have. Thanks. Yeah, Nick, uh, you look like you've gotten bigger, uh, a little wider up top and everything. Talk a little bit about your own personal development from last year to where you are right now. Yeah, definitely. I think that was my main thing this off season was getting stronger and uh, just putting on the right the weight the right way and putting on good weight. I think that was just kind of my thing. You know, last year, a couple times every game where you know, if I felt, if I felt bigger or stronger, I think I would have been in a lot better position and felt a lot easier. So I think just my personal development, you know, on the field and off the field in the weight room has really helped me a lot this uh, this year. Nick, who do you, who do you think is your, your third tackle? If anything were to, uh, to, to make you or Royce out of a game, who's that third guy? I mean, I think that's kind of the thing we're really trying to figure out. Obviously, we've had uh, – Hamilton Hall's taken some left tackle reps. Jeremy James has taken tackle reps. Uh, we've had a lot of other guys. Eli Acker, Reese has taken tackle reps. So I think we've got a lot of depth on the O-line if, if something were to happen. We'll go to Parrish. Hey, Nick, you got two guys uh, at the guards on this first depth chart that are going to be starting for the first time. What would be your advice to them as they are getting ready to see substantial playing time for the first time? I mean, at the end of the day, obviously, it is SEC football, but it's, just, it's still football. You know, it's a game you grew up playing your whole life. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, just go out there and have fun. I think that was just kind of the same thing, advice I got last year, you know, from the coaches, from all the other guys. You know, whether or not you're nervous, they're still going to play. You're still, the ball is still going to be snapped. So, I mean, just go out there and, and have fun. I mean, at the end of the day, just do, do the right things, and everything will take care of itself. What, uh, what stands out to you about this Florida defensive line? I think on the edges is their athletic ability. They got a lot of quick bursts on the outside, and then on the interior, you know, they got some, they got some big guys, and I think they do a lot. And they do a lot of movements, especially, uh, you know, towards the boundary. So I think that's just kind of things we're trying to get ready for. We'll go to back to Nate. Hey, we saw your starting five obviously yesterday, but how how much rotation has there been when you guys scrimmage? How many guys do you kind of expect to play real snaps on Saturday? You know, we have rotated a lot. Obviously, we get Ben uh, back. So, I think, you know, having uh, Bryce, who's taking a lot of reps, too. And I think, you know, he, we've got them on uh, the interior, definitely. We've got Jalen ready to play. So, I think we'll, you will see a couple of guys rotate in there. John, go ahead with your question. Hey, Nick. I'm wondering, uh, what do you think kind of the main things? You've got, obviously, a new coaching staff, guy with a, a really good offensive background. What do you think? kind of the main thing, the difference that people are going to see in this team that will kind of stand out to fans? Yeah, I think we'll have a lot more balance between running and passing than we did last year. Last year we were a lot more run-oriented, and this year we're kind of having a little, a little bit more of a balance to us. We'll go back to David. Yeah, Nick, uh, curious what you think the mood of this team is. Is it excitement? 
Is there some anxiety with this first game coming up? Uh, how are you guys feeling? I think everyone's excited, especially just given the circumstances now. I mean, it's been a long time since we've really been able to get out like this. You know, we, have, we missed all spring. Obviously, things are just a little different now. So I think this is just a huge positive, you know, for all of us to be able to go out there on Saturday and uh, get a game in. We'll go back to Nate. Lane's told us kind of the last two weeks that the biggest issue at scrimmages has been the turnovers from the quarterbacks. From your opinion, is it more mental issues? Is it accuracy? Like, how do you guys kind of fix that up this last week? You know, I think obviously there are uh, things to improve, and I think that's kind of the benefit of having these scrimmages. We know we have things to work on. So, I mean, obviously it starts with us. we got to protect well and do all those things so we don't put Matt in a bad matter, John Rice, and a uh, – in a tough position to make a tough throw. So I think as an offense as a whole, the turnover thing really starts. I mean, it's every one of us, you know, everyone's got to do their job and uh, the rest will take care of itself.